Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now December 11th of 2021 and ever since the very end of The Rise of Skywalker and of course The Mandalorian Season 2 and The Bad Batch, a lot of fans have truly been looking forward to the future of the Star Wars universe by George, John, and Dave and exactly what's about to come by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, I am on Twitter at MikeZero1 if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on there. I do post a couple of entertaining things from time to time and make sure to interact with you guys further. So what's really all the more exciting is that we are just weeks away from the release of the Book of Boba Fett series that's really going to tie everything together. We're going to learn more about the events in between both Empire and Return of the Jedi. We're going to learn exactly how he survived the Sarlacc Pit. We're going to see some surprise cameos of characters that you thought you would have never have seen in the Boba Fett series and more to come. So, if you guys have not seen Robert Rodriguez's work, I do suggest that you guys go ahead and check out Desperado and El Mariachi. Great movies. It's said that Boba Fett is going to take a lot of inspiration from those films, so I suggest that you guys go ahead and check them out. Now, moving on from all of this, what's really intriguing has everything to do with the fact of what Disney and Lucasfilm are preparing to do to continue the Skywalker saga. Now, they're not just doing this in the form of TV shows, but they're also going to be able to continue to do this with Star Wars films. And that is something that fans would have never thought of because of the marketing with Episode Nine, how the Skywalker saga is coming to an end. Well, after a lot of fans expressed a lot of problems with Episode Nine, Disney and Lucasfilm have been very eager and very antsy to kind of give it one more shot to really end the Skywalker saga for good and on better terms with the fans. So, with that being said, of course, now that both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are beginning to develop new Star Wars TV shows for Disney+, Plus that will be announced at Star Wars Celebration, it's described, however, that Disney CEO Bob Chapek is planning big things for Star Wars Celebration that will be unveiled for the Star Wars fandom. Now, this relates to Celebration of 2023, in which Chapek is set to announce the continuation of the Skywalker saga in the form of movies as episodes 10, 11, and 12. The new films are currently in the early development phase, and that Disney wants to give it one more big chance at ending the Skywalker saga forever, and sticking to Lucas' original belief that Star Wars should end at episode 12. Currently, the movies are going to focus on Cade Skywalker, who is going to be the son of both Rey and Ben Solo, with him having a sister that will be labeled as Jaina Skywalker. The plan by Lucasfilm is to release a series of books and comics throughout 2023 and 2024 that will set everything up for the new Star Wars episodes to boost the familiarity for fans. Both George Lucas and Chapek have already had many meetings about the announcement of the new Star Wars episodes, and that at Celebration of 2023, a release date will be unveiled for Episode 10 that will kickstart the adventures of Cade Skywalker. Now, in addition to this, the new episodes are set to use many of George Lucas' concepts from the prequel trilogy era that went unused that will be implemented into these new features. Lucasfilm is planning to not only strictly hire experienced writers and directors for the new films, but to also hire a mixture of A-list actors and talented unknowns. Now, the strategy by Lucasfilm is to literally create a series of books and comics that will be called Star Wars Episodes 10, 11, and 12, that will later be adapted into the form of movies. Brand new villains such as Darth Talon and a brand new Darth by her side will also be introduced in the new features that will actually cross the entire galaxy and new villains such as the Yuzong Vong that will arrive from a totally different galaxy. Now, apart from that, there are plans for both Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver to return in the form of cameos, not just for these movies, but also for the Rise of Skywalker sequel series that will be an animated form that's going to serve as a bridge, in a sense, in between the sequels and the new Star Wars films, and that Lucas had recently asked Mark Hamill if he would like to be involved in the upcoming features in the years ahead, most likely as a Force ghost. Hamill is described to be up for the role of returning as Luke Skywalker, where the plan by the new episodes is to stay pretty close and accurate to the legacy comics, while also adding a brand new spin on all of them. Cade Skywalker is already pre-planned to be portrayed by actor Garrett Hedlund. 
that actually is, of course, planning to make his character in his late 30s to early 40s to explore the very first Skywalker on screen to be done in a different age bracket like that. Now, the new films are described to also be supervised by both Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni once they finally go into production in the near future, and that Chapek is excited to announce the new release dates once Celebration of 2023 hits for the fans to actually finally witness and get excited for all of them, and to actually get very much excited for the Skywalkers to return once more. Now, let me just say one thing here. Yes, we do have the Skywalkers returning in the forms of TV shows. This, of course, ranges from Anakin to Luke to other Skywalkers that will be introduced. But the movies are where it's at. Let's not deny this, is that the movies is where the magic of Star Wars really comes from. You know, say what you will about Disney+, Plus, and I'm not really complaining, but I like it. I like the fact that TV shows like Boba Fett and Mando and... Ahsoka and others are coming our way. I'm very excited about that, but there is nothing that can really stack against Star Wars movies. And Star Wars movies, I mean the films that really kind of embed themselves in the mythology with the Skywalkers, with the Force, the Jedi, the Sith, Darksiders, etc. Nothing really competes against that, at least in my opinion. There's no better experience than sitting in the theater with other fans and just kind of experiencing it with others and kind of having that grand, you know, feeling of watching the same exact thing with hundreds of people. So that's going to be the magic of everything. The fact that Disney and Lucasfilm are literally pushing to revive all of this. You can see how eager and desperate they are to really end things right and on better term terms with the fans. We all know that episode nine was either A, a big attempt to make up for the mistakes of The Last Jedi, and B, they also did it as a way to kind of do damage control since they killed off Snoke. They didn't know who to use as another villain. They didn't know exactly what to do with characters like Rey and her origin story. They went back and forth between her being a nobody to a Kenobi to a Skywalker to a Palpatine. And instead they kind of combined both her being a Skywalker in a very unusual way and making her into a Palpatine at the same exact time. So JJ kind of made her a nobody, a Skywalker, and a Palpatine all in one. That's exactly what they did. They played it safe. So, like I say, I mean, I think that regardless, the fact that Disney and Lucasfilm are taking advantage of Disney Plus to kind of really explore some of the characters like Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, Anakin, and Luke, as well as the return of Grogu and Boba Fett now. I mean, the, things really are looking up for Disney Plus for starters. The movies are the big next step, and I know they've been having a lot of problems with Rogue Squadron. That's one thing that a lot of fans, believe it or not, are not really all that excited for. So, some fans out there are excited for it, but it's really not really the same exact thing that you would expect out of the Star Wars episode formats, right? So, with that being said, guys, you know, let me know what you think about everything related to George Lucas, Jon Favreau, and Dave Filoni, and really kind of having all these discussions with Bob Chapek and these new episodes moving forward and how this is going to be announced at Star Wars Celebration of 2023. Not to get mixed up with next year, we're going to have two celebrations in a row. We're going to have one next year and the year after that, which is nice. So overall, I think that what we're aiming for is that John really wants to create these consistent, successful Star Wars stories. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.